Hey everybody, Robbie here with RV Sales of Oregon. Today, I think I have the rig that everybody's been looking for that no one seems to have right now. This is a 2021 uh, Thor Four Winds. It is a 22E, a 22 foot Class C. Um, so they're hard to find. We got one, it's only got about 7,700 miles on it. Um, sitting on a workhorse chassis with a Chevy Vortec motor, a pairing that a lot of people are looking for and they're less common, so they're harder to find, let alone one in a 22 foot platform. So I think I've got a good one here, or I know I do, and, and uh, if you're looking for it, maybe I found it for you. But anyway, 22 foot, uh, 2021, about 7,700 miles on it. It's just a baby. Um, tires are original, but from 2021. So in good shape there. Um, let's just do a quick walk around and I'll, I'll show you what I've got here. Um, again, uh, GM motor, Chevy motor on a workhorse chassis. In my personal opinion, that is the superior setup. I'm a Ford guy myself, but I have to admit when uh, someone beats you and uh, Chevy beats Ford in my humble opinion. That's an opinion, people might differ, but I really do believe Chevy does a better job with their gas motors and their chassis. So, um, anyway, we'll actually, we'll go to the, cha uh, the cab when we go inside. On the outside here, we do have the big overhead bed, nice windows up top. Um, our potable water fill is here. We have our generator here. This is a 4,000 watt gas generator made by Onan, um, and it runs off of the same fuel tank that your motor runs off of. So nice and easy. You're not having to go fill up propane in the middle of a trip. You'll have fuel when you get there. Um, just make sure you have more than a quarter tank. They do cut themselves off at a quarter tank, so you can't strain yourself somewhere if you fall asleep with the gen on. Um, our water heater here, I believe, let me look at it before I, I get something wrong. This is, is this tankless? No, okay, pardon me. It's a 10 gallon, 10 gallon, 10 gallon water heater. It is gas and electric. So it is a tank heater, gas and electric. So you have the option. That's just the exhaust for your propane furnace. Um, here is part cable. If you go to a place that has a, provides you with cable, you can plug it in there. Your 30 amp system, one AC unit on here. So this is where your power cord will go in. Um, here is where your sewage connections are. Nice and easy to get to, hidden away by this door. And what I'd like to point out is they are not hanging down low like they do on a lot of travel trailers and other Class Cs. You have some pretty good clearance from that, uh, from your valves and from your drain uh, to the ground. Fuel tank here, pretty simple. Sandy flush is what's gonna clean out your black tank when you're done using it. After you empty that tank, you can hook up a hose to here. It is more or less a sprinkler inside of your black tank to clean it out, get any residual stuff out and make sure there's no smells. Um, this is our city water connection when you're at a park or somewhere that has a hose hookup. You don't need to run off of your holding tanks. Um, you can just run off city water anyway. you're not running a water pump or anything like that. Um, so that's your city water. Um, you do have the opening bumper there to put your sewage hose in. Uh, we have a backup camera built into your running lights up top. Our outdoor shower is right here off the back. We do have a receiver set for 8,000 pounds uh, with a seven pin. Oh wait, not a seven pin, pardon me. With a four flat. So you, if you're gonna tow something with trailer brakes, you'll need to make some adjustments there and up front. But if you're running just a small cargo trailer, you're fine with the four flat. 8,000 pounds is quite the, quite the cargo for this thing. And I will say, just tangent here, a 22 foot with this powertrain setup is this compared to most RVs, this thing's gonna feel like a sports car. I mean, it's, it's shorter than a lot of pickup trucks and has a power plant that is, uh, is more so than a lot of rigs that are bigger than this. You'll see 30 footers that don't have as much power as this. So um, it'll feel relatively like a sports car if you're used to a bigger class C or a gas class A. Um, big storage here and some free goodies as well. Um, but just, as you can see, mostly just storage. You do have, in this plastic lining, you do have drains. So if you were gonna have something wet in here, it has a low point in the center. You can just open up the hole. So, you know, whatever you might be putting, if you're concerned it's wet, it won't build up moisture, it'll drain out. So kind of nice, that's what this black area is. The rest, you know, that is just interior. Uh, a couple of power cords here, power plugs here underneath your powered awning, which is more or less the length of the rig minus the cab. Um, so just press the button, your awning comes out, you have a nice patio space. Um, you could even, you know, set something up in there. Um, if you wanted kind of uh, a makeshift outdoor kitchen, you got plenty of room for it. Um, TV plugs or whatever you might be plugging in, set a table up, have a little, you know, tailgate experience out here. Um, and this, uh, you can't, 
Yeah, you can probably see it, that little strip of LED lights there. It doesn't look like much, especially during the day, but with that white canvas on the on the awning, when that thing comes out in the night and you have that on, it reflects off that awning really nice. It gives you like this really nice glowing ambient light underneath. So it's a really cool patio space to spend your evenings out, you know, out underneath, spend your time outside. That's why we use RVs, right? Is to go spend time outside and explore. So um, take advantage of it. Here is just our propane tank. I believe that is a 12 gallon. Let me see here, capacity, 12.2 gallons, 12.2 gallons. So you just have them fill it up from there. Uh, pretty simple setup. It's just like filling up a gas tank when you go to the gas station. Um, not too much else to see up here, but I'll show you the this quarter of it. So, you know, there's nothing wrong. And let's go on in. So one thing you definitely won't notice in the video is it smells like new still. Um, it hardly looks like it's been used. Um, we'll start up front here. You do have the nice big TV that's on a swivel. It'll come all the way out about 90 degrees from the wall so you can view it from the rest of the cab or you can leave it, you know, parallel with the wall and view it from up here in this big bed, which ends up being about a queen size bed, if not even bigger, but easily can fit two people, um, three kids, you know, or just one person that likes to sleep like a starfish. So either way, plenty of room up here. Um, fairly simple cabin. I love that they have the rubber tracking in here because, you know, it's really easy to keep clean. It's hard to let it fail. It's going to last a long time. Um, you have the infotainment system in there that's got, you know, Apple CarPlay or Apple Auto, Android CarPlay, whatever the things are. It's all smart. Um, it has Bluetooth, has USB hookups, has auxiliary hookups. You have navigation through your phone on there. Um, so really nice infotainment system, you know, what we've become accustomed to um, in today's world. So have that there. It has lane departure warning. It has park assist. Um, I think that's it. I don't want to overpromise. I know it has those things. I might have more, but I'll just stop with that. Um, very comfortable seats. I feel like GM always does a good job having the most comfortable seats. Um, and you will notice here, your dash just has an inverter built in off your um, off your regular motor, so you're not even pulling off a chassis or house power there. That's running off chassis. You're seeing this more often in um, in like newer vehicles, but you have a plug right there at any time, so you don't have to run your generator to have AC power. So, kind of neat. Our dinette here is a good size one. Um, I always like to point out, because a lot of dinettes you can't sit in without your belly being on there, but good depth in it, plenty of room. I realize I'm not the biggest guy, but but there is a lot of room here for someone that might be bigger than myself. Uh, this table does drop down and the cushions all lay flat to make into a good size bed. It ends up being slightly smaller than a full and slightly bigger than a twin, but but a good size bed. To give you an idea, my wingspan is about 6'2" and you end up with about a six foot two bed. So uh, maybe just under that six foot or so, but most of us don't sleep like a plank anyway. So if you're under six foot, you can sleep here no problem. If you're over, I still don't think it's a problem, but it, it might get a little tight. Um, AC unit here, and I'm just realizing this has a heat pump on it, which is very helpful, especially here in the Pacific Northwest where we get a lot of moisture in the air. Heat pumps will dehumidify as they heat. Uh, the other nice thing being is if you're at a park for a while, you're not worried about burning through all your propane by using the furnace. So you have options. Yeah, you, you have the electric heat. You also have a propane furnace. So, so best of both worlds there. Um, good storage up above your dinette here. I'm oh, sorry, coming back to the AC. It's a, it's a 15,000 BTU AC unit. Your furnace is 30,000 BTU. And that's all I can think of for now. So anyway, I just don't want to leave that out. Um, nice little kitchen setup. You have a smaller sink because you have to lose space somewhere, but it's a stainless steel one. You have the nice swiveling and uh, detachable head there. Uh, Furion propane stove with three burners on it. You have the conventional. Oh, sorry. I assumed that was an oven. That is storage down here. Pardon me. In both of these, that is storage. So that means this guy. Doesn't mean anything. This is a regular microwave. So no true oven in here, but that's okay. Most of us are going to be using a barbecue anyway. Um, so yeah, three burner stove, regular microwave, and you do have the um, really nice uh, splash guard up here and a nice little light so you can see what you're cooking. Um, just some storage here. Nothing to write home about. More storage here above the door. Um, very handy uh, for, you have your plugs in there. So if you're running a game console or DVD players or anything like that, you don't have anything exposed. You can just run it through the wall right to the TV. Um, I love that it. it's simple. I know it's not a big deal, but they have all your controls for, you know, the majority of stuff right here by the door, your main power switch to turn power on, your awning lights, your run your awning, uh, interior ceiling lights. 
um, is all right here. And I think that's smart because it's something you hit on your way in or way out. It's just simpler. You don't have to walk through the rig in the dark to get things on. Um, this down here is a solar regulator. You have, I believe, about 300 watts of solar on the roof, two very large panels. And I believe it comes out to 300 watts, but that's your regulator. It's gonna tell you the voltage in, amperage in, sorry, voltage of the batteries and the amperage in from the solar panel. So just nice and handy there. And I believe that regulator goes up quite a bit more in power. So if you decided to add more solar, it, it's capable. Um, you have the little flip up stand there and, uh, and the four big cabinets there. And you do have good storage underneath this one here, I believe you have a holding tank under that bench there, so not any storage under that one. Um, nice closet just off the bedroom. You use it however you want. It is meant, I think, for clothes, you know, taller items that get hung. And you do have one more drawer there. Uh, let's see what's underneath the fridge because I don't know. Just more storage. Pots and pans, possibly. I think it'd be a good place for it. Um, we do have the corner bed here. It ends up being a queen bed uh, minus this corner here. So I don't know what they call that exactly. It's an RV style queen, the corner missing. Uh, but very comfortable bed, and you can find other versions of it if for some reason you don't like the bed that it comes with. Um, good storage above your heads here. Um, and USB plugs right here, which is nice. It's right by your bed. So, um, you know, you're putting your laying your head down for the night, you want to charge your phone, you don't want to run the gen. Those USB ports run off 12 volts, so it'll just, uh, you don't need to turn anything on to charge your phones and stuff like that. Um, your thermostat is here. That'll control your, uh, your AC and your furnace. And let's look at the commode. I will uh, let you peek in and I'll follow you in afterward and uh, show you just how big that shower is. You are a porcelain potty. Um, to me, that's a big deal. I can't stand the plastic ones. Um, and then it seems like a silly thing to brag about, but it's just the step side one, which I think is so much better than your electrical options where things can fail. You don't want a toilet to fail. These are pretty foolproof. You just step on it and it's good. They, you know, they're mechanical. They don't really ever break on you. Um, nice little vanity here. Good medicine cabinet. Again, stainless steel finish there. Um, and then let me give you an idea on the size of the shower. So I'm about 6'2 without boots on. With boots on, I'm a little bit taller than that. Um, but I can stand up tall in here. I can get my arms up. I can get them side to side. To For the most part, you know, it gets a little bit narrow here. But it's a 22-foot RV. So let's be realistic. This is about as good of a shower as you're going to see in something this size. So um, very functional. You have some storage here for shampoo and soap and all that jazz. And most people don't shower in boots. So it would be slightly shorter. Uh, you know, I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff, but I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Um, 2021 Thor 4 Winds 22E is the model. Uh, about 7,700 miles. Um, I know they're hard to find. So if you're looking at this one, hopefully I still have it. Again, I'm Robbie with RV Sales Morgan. Thank you guys for checking out the video, and I hope to see you here soon.